to another video, The Tea on MPD and Relationships. Hello, everyone. To all of my new subscribers and new family members, hello and welcome. And of course, to my tribe and family at large. Listen, y'all, fam, welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back and, of course, watching another video. Y'all know I love to always mention our Thursday night live streams. Y'all know what we do uh, Thursday nights. It, it had been bouncing around a little bit, but we're being we're going back pretty steady on Thursday nights now. Listen, 5 p.m., you don't want to miss it. If you're ready to go from healing to wholeness to boldness, you don't want to miss the Thursday night live uh, Thursday night live stream at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 5 p.m. Uh, sp Pacific Standard Time. Listen, jump in the chat, grab a snack, come on back, and invite some folks to come back with you, okay? All right. And y'all know every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus 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 on the likes. Y'all know what time it is. If you rocks with your girl, hit that like button, hit that like button. Y'all checking? Y'all rocking? Y'all rocking with your girl? I just want to check and see. Y'all hitting that like button, right? Okay. All right, y'all. So let's jump into the topic of this video. I want to get right to it. I want to tell, I want to put this video out here because I want you all to really uh, uh, understand something about the mind and the cycles of a narcissist. You know, the video is titled, there you go. Don't get comfortable. The narcissist will be back. Okay. Don't get comfortable. Now I'm always asked, this question comes up more often than not is, is the narcissist going to come back? Are they going to hoover me? You know, what? what is this going to look like? Because I discarded the narcissist. You know, all of these, I mean, the questions are endless regarding hoovers and, you know, whatever the narcissist did, how they left the situation or whatever. But I got to be real honest with you. You know, these birds, they they go and take a break. You know, they have to go and get, change the oil and, and get with another backwards walking giraffe. And, you know, they do their thing and then they come back. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's how they do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what they do. But one thing that you have to understand about a person that has a psychological or pathology. What, what do they call it? A pathological cycle or a disorder that's ingrained in the individual is you have to understand that this thing is going to repeat. The cycle is going to continue. It does not matter what supply they're with. It's going to repeat. So even if they have new supply, the same thing that you suffered with the narcissist, the new supply is going to suffer as well. Now, there is a caveat. There is a there is a thing that can happen that will probably make the narcissist stay away. They won't come back. Um, they don't see any need to come back. And that is because that is maybe you either discarded them in the love bomb stage or you cause them so much shame that for them to come back to you. Is it doesn't make sense to them because there is nothing there for them. It matters what you think about the narcissist, right? They'll tell you they don't care what you think about them. They don't care what you think about me. I don't care what you say about me. It's a lie. They care because they have very low self-esteem and they are very insecure individuals. And this is why they abuse their target so much is because they want that target to feel low and insecure just like they do. But the thing about it is don't get comfortable because the narcissist is coming back. See, the narcissist waits for you to get into a place where you kind of sailing and coasting along. I know y'all going to uh, testify in the comment section, but a lot of y'all are going to talk about it. When you actually got to a place where you were not thinking about them as much, you weren't ruminating as much, you were able to now get yourself up out of bed, you know, your productivity was starting to pick up or whatever, then that's when the narcissist came back with a Hoover. That's by design. That's by design. And I tell you all all the time, I can't tell you how many countless clients I've talked to and they're just like, well, you know, it's been four months, it's been three months or it's been a year and I haven't heard from the narcissist. And guess what? I tell them, I said, they'll be back. And every single time, I want to say 99.9% .9 of the time, they'll call me back. They're like, oh my gosh, T, you were so right. This clown came back and this, this, and this because 
they always want to re-engage with old supply, okay? That is, and I told y'all before, once you are discarded, the narcissist has gone over to the new supply, you now become the most wanted. And it's not the most wanted that they want to come back and treat you right and to, to basically um, love you and to do all of those things. No, it's not that. They want to come back and finish you off. You know, they want to come back and, and, and enact some more misery upon you. And hopefully this time they can completely knock you off your square. So once they do that, you can, you can just fall like just in total submission to the narcissist. That's what they're hoping that you will do right and they love to do and and you and a lot of y'all are going to find that when you when they came back they were doing things to you worse than they did when they left before you know they're always trying to do something to to upset you to you know to to do you know whatever it is i mean causing arguments arguing about stupid stuff you know uh lying to you gaslighting you about things that you know you didn't do, things you know you didn't say or whatever. The narcissist is going to bring all of that times 10 back to your life. And because they they want that reaction. They need that energy from, from the reaction. And once they get bored with the new supply, the new supply is not giving them that type of energy. You know, you got to think about it like this. Uh, you, If a person, if you are a good person to them, and you love them. You you did you I mean you did everything that you could for the narcissist. And this person turned around and treated you like trash. And now, you know, they're gone with someone else. You think they're gonna forget how you treated them? I told y'all on that video, they never forget how you treat them. Now they don't, they might not miss you, but they do miss the way that you treated them. I mean, you gotta be a special kind of stupid to throw somebody away or to 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 continue to try to uh, abuse someone that's trying to care for you, you know, that's trying to show you that they love you. But a narcissist doesn't care. They're hell bent on arguing with you. They're hell bent on chaos and confusion, doing things to to cause you to you know to react, you know, poking the bear. They like to do all of that, and the and the, it's it's ingrained in them because it's a demonic force that causes them. That dark entity wants that energy. It wants to pull from you like that. So. You don't need to get comfortable and think that they're going to be over there with that new supply and not try to come back and hoover you. They want some more of that good treatment. They want some more of those vacations and trips that you gave them. You know, they want some more of those shopping trips y'all went on. You know, the exquisite dining that you're, you, you expose them to. I mean, you expose them to your world, right? And so do you think for one minute that someone that wants to collect people right? And it, it a collective. They want to build a collective, right? If you think for one minute that they're not going to try to come back and get some more of that, honey, please. Let me tell you something. These birds are constantly looking for supply. And not only that, but they always want to re-engage with old supply because they know you. OK, they know you. They know how you work. They know how you move. They, you know, all of that. They know that. And so for them to be able to re engage with you is an ego boost. And not only that, but look at all the lies they told on you when they left, when they ran that smear campaign. And and for those of you that don't know, the smear campaign is actually a confession campaign. The narcissist is only telling the people that what they did to you. They're not, it, it, it's it's the other way. People are like, I can't believe that they said such horrible things. No, all they're doing is confessing what they did to you. That's it. You can't let that bother you. The more you react to them and the more you uh, you give that energy, the more they're going to do it. And that's why I said when, when um, you, you hear about the smear campaign, just keep it moving. Because a narcissist is going to do what they're going to do. They always want your emotion. They always want your energy. And when you stonewall them, you basically gray rock them. Don't give them any emotion or anything like that. That is going to really seriously bother them because they need that. They need the gossip. They need the 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 emotional highs and low. They need that. But they're going to get it from wherever they can. Right. And even from the new supply. But they want it. 
from you too, again. And yours is even more potent because you've been discarded and now they want to come back. So it's going to be extra special to them for them to draw reaction off of you. So that's why I tell you all, don't get comfortable. These clowns, these birds are coming back. There are instances when they don't come back. You know, like I said, when you discard them in the love bomb stage, that's a real blow to their egos because narcissists operate on ego. You know, they do. And very toxic people do too. There's not, uh, it, they don't have to always be a narcissist. Some people can, you know, some have empathy or whatever, but they're just toxic. They operate on ego and they can do stuff sometimes that make you feel like they are truly a narcissist, but they may not be necessarily a a narcissist that could be diagnosed with NPD. That means that the person has no empathy and they have at least five of those character traits existing at all times in their lives. But I I just want you all to understand something. Don't don't sit back and get comfortable because that bird is coming back. They want some more of what you have. And not only that, they want to see if they can really take you out. All right. That's what they really want to do. So I'm saying this because a lot of times I'm getting these questions. People are getting comfortable and, you know, moving on with their lives. And then the narcissist hoovers or whatever and disrupts everything. This is why you have to learn to disconnect from them emotionally. You have to cut that emotional stronghold in your soul. Right. You got to cut it. And uh, it's often referred to as a soul tie. That thing has to be obliterated so you can move on with your life. All right, family. So listen, y'all make sure you all take really good care of yourselves. Do something nice for yourself this weekend. Okay. And pass this video along to some folks that may be able to use it. And I just want you all to know that I love you and I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom family. Peace.